Um, also online, also protected by Cloudflare, but um, and it, with a with its own sort of issues, is um, Post. So I'm gonna read two things from Post. They are completely unrelated, um, but they're both uh, kind of interesting. We don't know. Uh, Post is a very large kind of poll adjacent um, Fediverse instance, and Fediverse is a decentralized Twitter alternative like email. Uh, Graph has beef with me, so keep in mind that when I'm reading this, I am laughing because he's a he's an asshole and I don't like him. Not because I don't support the Fediverse, of course. Graph says, "Hey friends." In 2021, I saw a lot of promise in posts. So because I had a fair bit of money saved, I quit my job and focused solely on posts. Two years later, it's cost me almost $100,000, and it continues to exponentially cost more money every single day that passes. So I have decided I will just enter the workforce again. Because I'm going to get a job to make sure my wife and children don't have to worry about their futures, I will be spending less time focused on post. So shit will be broken. Most shit will be broken. There isn't much I can really do about it besides hiring someone, but I would have to, but I wouldn't have to if even one tenth of you donated one dollar a month. I'm giving you advance warning now because I started looking for employment today to pay post bills. And it's pretty sad, I have to say this, but I expected this website and its users could at least cover the cost of the site, but I've had to beg angel donors for an entire year to cover the bills, and I'm just not doing it anymore. Thanks for coming to my novel. So, um, Post, I will explain to you why you have money issues um, and why I can convince my much... I think my site is smaller than Post. I think Post is, like much more active than the kiwi farms but people actually support me because i don't treat people who give me money like shit i don't fly off at the handle and start uh writing unhinged rants at every single person who uh could possibly sponsor the site also i don't know what the fuck he's doing i understand that post is a media heavy intensive uh setup however a hundred thousand dollars in two years fifty thousand dollars a year so he's spending about forty five hundred dollars if i my math is correct uh probably a little bit less uh every month on posts i have my own network i have dedicated servers i have um tens of thousands of dollars of hardware and even if you factor in how much i paid for all that hardware and how much i paid month to month we we spend less than half of that to keep the site up and my site is much harder to keep up than his i have no fucking clue what he's doing to manage spending forty five hundred dollars a month the only thing i can think of is that he has multiple rent to own arrangements like he's ordered hardware he pays every month like he has a loan from the um from the companies that built the hardware and he just built like triple redundant petabyte storage devices because he thought he was going to launch some sort of enterprise CDN or something. And his his petabyte storage device with 10,000, you know, SSDs in it is sitting used by 1%. And that's the only way I can imagine that he's accomplished this. It's a really impressive feat to fuck up that bad when you're hosting a fucking Fediverse instance. Maybe he pays the Jannies. I don't think so. I don't think anyone makes any money. The only the other alternative is is that Graph has an alcohol problem. So um, it could be that maybe a thousand dollars a month is going to post, and the other thirty five hundred dollars is going to um, to a, a man in Tennessee named Makers and and his Mark, <laughs> his Mark, which is a coveted uh, coveted drink among certain circles of people. So. I really, it's really, I really don't know what the fuck he's doing. Um, and by the way, if I, I, I don't want to be like a too bad of a dick, but if like I had to get a job to keep paying for the Kiwi farms, that's not happening. I'm going to tell you right now, if I could, if something happened and I, people were just not going to send any more like month to month support over like cryptocurrency and shit, I'm not like, I already sacrificed so much of my fucking time and personal uh personal peace and and day-to-day -day, like abilities to go out and do shit i can't do because i'm the kiwi firms guy no fucking way so whatever he gets from post is uh is is worth the money 
which means that what he's getting from post is not um in a business sense it doesn't make any sense it means that it personally gratifies him and it would, that would make sense if post was anything but like a bunch of retards jerking off to anime girls pretending to be nazis um and if that's what gratifies him and gives his life meaning then he's a fucking retard i could give the website to you no i've already explained if the site goes down i am taking it i'm removing all user data i'm anonymizing all the posts i'm putting it together in a torrent and i am sending it out to the world and whatever whatever happens as a result of pandora's box being opened it happens not going to be my problem. I'm going to be in the hills of Serbia on a piece of land that I could buy for five thousand dollars, feeding goats. I'm never gonna. I'm never gonna see what happens because my internet will be firmly disconnected. And nobody will ever hear from me ever again. That's what's gonna. That's the. That's the. That's the exit strategy. Um. So okay, this is the other. This is the other thing. From posts. So I, I saw this because someone posted it in the uh, community happenings thread, and I looked through it and I thought it was funny. Um, by the way, there I, I've mentioned this guy before, and you may have noticed this if you ever read the comments of any of my videos. There's a guy called Colonel J, or C Colonel J. I think he reprints Colonel Colonel. But Colonel J is someone who has been an avid fan of my podcast for like since the beginning. I find him insufferable. Um, and I've told him to stop contacting me and his way of getting around this is that on every single video that I post on every site that I posted on, instead of writing anything unhinged, he just writes nice show every day, every day, every stream, every time I do anything, he writes nice show in a comment. And that's his way of saying, I'm not touching you. You don't like me. I don't care. I still watch your podcast and every show is a nice show. And I will write my, my, my comment. Nice show on every post that every video that you do. And every time you re-upload it to any site, I will post nice show on every single re-upload. So I've come to peace with the fact that Colonel J will always write nice show on all of my streams. <clears throat> and I would not mention this cause I don't give crazy people attention when I can help it. However, Colonel J in response graf posting this says you're laughing graph is going to flip burgers for post and you're laughing and i i read this post and i laughed out loud so hard that i got tears in my eyes because it was so funny and i realized it was from colonel j and i realized he's still out there somewhere even with the kiwi farms.cc dead and he's nice showing on other people's comments and it, uh, i have to give him props for this because it was the funniest fucking thing i read that day <laughs> <laughs> nice post bro i think i even said that it's a nice post there we go i had to stand my ground to defend my wife and children and oh by the way and uh, uh, whiplash we're going back to the graph post he does not have wife and children wife and children right here um i don't know what the fuck he's talking about he's not married and i don't know if he has any children Last I heard, he's like e dating thoughts and having break, having like mental breakdowns when his e, e girls leave him and shit. I don't know what the fuck he's referring to with wife and children. If he's acquired a wife and children, contact authorities immediately because those are not his. They probably really want to go home. There's probably someone looking for them in some state. Okay, I <laughs> have no fucking idea what's going on with this. Uh, with this post it is the, <laughs> he has a wife who and lollies what show are they from are, are they from that dragon maid show that gator loves what show are they from graph i want to know where's your wife and children what what part of um G gisanko d does your wife and children come from thank you for watching this clip this is the cac of remember to like and subscribe